So, we will next look into a topic that includes uh, some more uh, combinational um, logic elements decoders, multiplexers and PLAs. So, these are slightly higher level than uh, the gates, logic gates that we have considered so far. So, they are essentially consist uh, made up of logic gates only, but for, so they will have a good number of logic gates in them. So, for our understanding, so for many a time we will find that uh, the function that we want to realize is similar to one of these components, decoder, multiplexer and PLA. So, as a result, so there are many integrated circuit chips that have been developed for you that realizes these functions uh, in them. So, we can use those chips directly, okay. So, we do not have to do in terms of basic logic gates. So, that way the design process becomes simpler, okay. So, we will be looking into this uh, uh, one by one by one. So, first we look into decoders. So, a decoder it is a logic circuit that accepts a set of inputs that represents a binary number and activates only one of the output that corresponds to the input number. So, what we mean is that uh, it has got, so if this is the, um, uh, this is the box corresponding to decoder, this is the uh, logical block that realizes the decoder, then it has, it accepts some input, okay. So, suppose it accepts two input and so, this 2 bit uh, 2 input that I have say uh, say I uh, say I input 0 and input 1. Now, they uh, correspond to some binary uh, number binary number like say if these 2 bits are 0 0 that means it is the it is representing the number 0. If this is 0 1 it is representing the number 1, 1 0 is 2 and 1 1 is 3. Accordingly, this um, in the output side I will have 4 lines. Okay, I will have 4 lines and out of this 4 lines, so if I uh, give say pattern uh, 0 0, then this line will be, this line output will be high or and others will be 0. Okay. So, if I, if I write in terms of say O 0, O 1, O 2 and O 3, so depending upon the binary pattern that I am feeding, so one of the 4 outputs will be active and others will be inactive. So, it active means it may be high where others are low or it, it, it may be the reverse way that active means the output is low and while rest of the outputs are high. So, either way it can be done. So, a decoder circuitry looks at its inputs, determines which binary number it is present there and activates the one output that corresponds to the number. All other outputs they remain inactive. Now, you can very easily design some circuit using some basic logic gates and in fact it is done that way only but if your circuit is very uh, function that you want to realize is quite complex then it may be that a good number of gates so we are putting uh, we are repla replacing by a decoder to make the design simple to uh, to understand okay so So, in a general form a decoder has got n input lines to handle n bits and form 1 to 2 power n output lines to indicate the presence of one or more n bit combinations. So, this has uh, this, uh, this is the basic decoder. So, we say it is 1 to 2 to the power n to 2 to the power n decoder. So, that way it is uh, it is taking n input lines and depending upon the value of n one of the 2 power n outputs will be made active. So, you can see that this basic AND gate, so that acts as a decoding element because it produces high when all its inputs are high. So, if I take one AND gate, you see the if you the, the, the AND gate, so this output it has got one output and two input. So, this is also in some sense decoder because for uh, when the input pattern is 1 1, then only it is giving 1 all the other cases it is giving 0. So, output is deactive. So, since it has got only one output and that one output is high when 1 1 is high. On the other hand, if you say OR gate, so OR gate in that sense it is not a decoder because it, 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 is, it produces one at for three different combinations. So, 0 1, 1 0 and 1 1 for all the three combinations. So, it is producing one. 
so by if i just look at uh, this output and see that this is one i do not know i do not i, I can i cannot tell what was the corresponding input pattern but for and gate it is true that as soon as you look into the output and is find a one there you know the input pattern is one one so yeah and gate in some sense can be said to be a decoder of course you can tell that for or gate also if i get a zero at the output if i get a zero at the output i definitely know that the input patterns are zero zero so if i am looking for uh, an active low uh, decoder circuit okay that is it how it lowers the output when the corresponding input pattern is applied in that situation or gate will act as a decoder whereas and gate will not act as a decoder so that is a very rudimentary type of decoder that we are talking about now Uh, so this is the uh, decoding logic for the binary code 1001 with an active high input so uh, this uh, so if you get if if i if i have to design a black box uh, uh, or some logic circuit such that for 1001 it will give the high output so i can do it like this so the it, i can put i can design a circuit where all these things is put inside the box and this box takes uh, or 4 bit input and so only when this 4 bit input is 1001 as per the design of this circuit you see that the output is 1 similarly if you are um, if you are uh, talking in terms of this uh, value so a0 a1 a2 a3 so here i am getting a1 bar here i am getting a2 bar so they are ended so you get a3 a2 bar a1 bar a0 so when this particular input combination comes at the uh, block input then only this uh, output will be made active so this way we can uh, we can realize uh, circuits okay or to to get the decoders in a general form so we have got this a0 to an minus 1 so n inputs are given to a decoder and there are m outputs o0 to om minus 1 now this uh, n output n input so they can correspond they can give uh, values which may be any one of these two power n input code set okay so this is two power n input codes are coming and then it is uh, producing output which is uh, one of this m outputs will be made high so o0 to om minus 1 one of the outputs will be made high so there are two power n possible input combinations from a0 to an minus 1 and for each of these input combinations only one of the m outputs will be active high all others will be are low all others will be low so they will be so if high is 1 and low is 0 so you can say it is 1 and 0 so this is the basic decoder uh, definition okay so uh, we, we represent it by a um, square like this as i said that there can be two variants of the decoder one decoder is active low output where the the whichever output is active so that output will be zero and the rest will be uh, one and other category is active high output where i have got this uh, uh, decoder who the active output will be one and the rest will be zero and there are uh, ic chips that have been designed for both the categories like 74138 is an ic chip which has got which is a decoder function with active low output and 74139 is again a decoder but it has got active high output so this uh, in case of active low output type of decoder the entire decoder can be implemented with nand gates and inverters whereas this active high output the decoder can be realized using and gates and inverted so as we have seen previously like in this diagram so here i i was looking for active high output so i could do that using inverters and and gate so if i was looking for active low output then i have to use inverters and nand gates so the first one uh, we will be considering is a 2 to 4 line decoder with enable input so what is there so uh, so here this is the two input a and b that are the uh, uh, that gives us uh, to the uh, the output number that should be made active okay so this is active low so corresponding to a and b whichever output is getting selected that output will be low and the rest of the outputs will be high 
so for example when a b is 0 0 then d 0 is 0 and rest of the d 1 d 2 d 3 they are 1 similarly for 0 1 d 1 is 0 and the rest of the outputs are 1 like that and there is one additional input called enable or e and this uh, the outputs will be coming properly only when this e is equal to 0 if e is equal to 1 then all these d0 d1 d2 d3 so they will be giving the value 1 so none of the outputs are active okay because we have taken one as uh, active uh, is one is the non active state and zero is the active state so if this e is equal to 1 then all the outputs are 1 so the all all of them are non active mode no, non active mode so this way we can uh, augment the decoder to have an enable input as well so next we'll look in so this the circuit operates with complemented outputs and a complement uh, enable input as we have said so out, the output active output is zero and decoder it gets enabled when e is equal to zero only one of the output can be equal to zero at any given time all other outputs are equal to one output whose value is equal to 0 represents a mean term selected by inputs a and b so a and b they will uh, they it can select four uh, mean terms with the two input functions so it has got four mean terms and in this so, so this uh, d0 d1 d2 d3 they are actually corresponding to mean term 0 1 2 and 3 so based on this ab value the corresponding mean term is getting selected and corresponding d bit is made equal to 0 and circuit is disabled when E is equal to 1. For getting the uh, proper operation of the circuit, E should be set to 0. We look into another example. So, it is a 3 to 8 line decoder. So, 3 bit input. So, if the n equal to 3. So, naturally I can have 2 power n that is uh, 8 as the uh, m value or the number of outputs that I can that it can have. Now, here you see that what we need is uh, for uh, uh, O0, okay, O0 output will be act will be equal to 1 when all these A, B, C bits are 0. So, how have we represented it? So, this is an AND gate here and you see the inputs are coming from A bar, then the, the um, this is coming from uh, this is coming from this uh, B bar. So, this is uh, this is this is the line B bar. So, inverted B. So, this is the B bar and also C bar. When A bar, B bar, C bar. So, these two values are equal to 1. Then this output O0 will be equal to 1 and all other outputs will be equal to 0. So, this is the truth table that we have. So, when this uh, ABC is 0, 0, 0, O0 is getting selected. O0 is becoming equal to 1 and rest of the outputs are 0. So, for any other combination one of these uh, outputs will be made equal to 1. So, this way we can have 3 to 8 line decoder. This decoder can be referred to in several ways. First of all it can be called a 3 line to 8 line decoder as there are 3 input lines and 8 output lines. So, it has it is called 3 line to 8 line decoder. Now, see this 3 and 8 so this information they are redundant like as soon as I say that 3 are the input lines so 8 are the output lines. Similarly, if I say 8 as the output line then 3 is the input line. So, it is also it can also be called a binary to octal decoder okay, or converter because it takes a 3 bit binary input code and activates the one of the 8 outputs corresponding to that code. It is sometimes called once or it is also sometimes called one of eight decoder. So, these are various terminologies that we have three line to eight line decoder, one of eight decoder. So, one of eight decoder means that out of eight only one of them will be made active. So, it is called one of eight decoder. So, naturally since output are, uh, there are eight outputs. So, we must have the input as uh, three, three bit okay. So, three input lines should be there. So, this way there are various names for the circuit. So, next we will look into the uh, logic diagram of this integrated circuit chip 74138. So, this 74138 is a 3 bit decoder. So, we have got a 0, a 1, a 2 as the input 
and it is um, uh, when this uh, so it has got a number of enable lines so this e1 e2 and e3 there are three enable lines out of that the circuit is active when e1 bar is e1 equal to 0 that is e1 bar equal to 1 e2 equal to 0 that is e2 bar equal to 1 and e3 equal to 1 in that case this and gate output will be 1 and only when this and gate output is 1 so this uh, nand gates are there and their output can be uh, made equal to the proper value if this uh, uh, if this uh, and gate output is 0 then this all the outputs are tied to 1 okay so all these uh, eight outputs are tied to 1 so for uh, getting the operation from this circuit i should set e1 equal to 0 e2 equal to 0 and e3 equal to 1 then only this will happen so apparently it seems why do we need so many enable lines so e0 e1 e1 e2 and e3 so this helps in the logic design many times so maybe in a in my circuit i have got several decoders and the same input combination is going to a number of decoders and but i don't want all them to be active simultaneously so this uh, availability of this multiple uh, multiple enable lines so it helps in the process okay so that is why the 74138 has got a structure like this so this is the um, uh, truth table for 74138 so this is uh, when this uh, uh, e3 is uh, uh, so when, when whenever this say e2 is high so e2 bar becomes uh, low so this uh, um, uh, your uh, decoder is disabled so all the outputs are high or if e1 is high whatever be the value of e3 and e2 then also all the outputs are high and if e3 is low whatever be the value of e1 and e2 so again all the values are um, all the all the outputs are high so there is no priority between e1 e2 e3 so for, say for correct for correct operation of the circuit e3 should be high e1 should be low and e2 should be low once i have uh, put these values so rest of the bits a0 a1 a2 if it is if a, if the all of them are low then o0 bar will be low and rest will be high similarly if this is uh, if i uh, put G, uh, this uh, a, 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 a2 a1 and a2 as uh, 0 and a0 as 1 so this will be putting o1 bar to be o1 line to low and rest of the lines to high so this is the uh, 74138328 bit decoder which is an active low one of eight decoder so there is an enable function on this device a low level uh, on each of the e1 dash e2 dash and e2 dash and a high level on input e3 is required to make the enable get output high and the enable is connected to an input of each NAND gate in the decoder so it must be high for the NAND gate to be enabled if the enable gate is not activated then all the eight decoder outputs will be high regardless of the states of the three input variables a0 a1 a2 so that is for the enable part next we look into how can i make a 5 to 32 bit decoder using this uh, 3 to 8 decoders okay so uh, so, so i want to make a hierarchical structure so in my application i need a 5 to 32 uh, decoder whereas in my library i don't have this uh, 5 to 32 decoders available as a chip what i have are only 3 to 8 decoders uh, 74138 so what we can do so since there are 32 outputs so i will need four such 74138 chips so these are the four such 74138 chips now since there are five uh, input lines so this a0 to a4 so these are the input lines that i have now this a0 a1 a2 so they are fed to a0 a1 a2 of all the three uh, all the uh, uh, four decoders all the four seven four one three eights now using this a3 and a4 we select between the uh, uh, seven four one three eight that we want for example the first uh, uh, the first 74138 chip that i have put so that kind of controls the outputs o0 to o7 second 74138 controls the outputs o8 to o15 so third one o16 to o23 and the fourth one o24 to o31 now what is required is if all this a0 a1 a2 a3 a4 are zero in that case only this o0 bar should be low and all the all these outputs still o31 bar they should be high now how to do that 
So, this A0, A1, A2 is fed here. So, this enable line, so we connect A3, A4 and uh, this the other the, the E3 line. So, E3 line will tie to high and this E1 and E2, so we connect this A3 and A4. So, when this, so this enable E is active when A3 equal to 0, A4 equal to 0 and this is already 1. So, this is, so this decoder will be active when A3 equal to 0 and A4 equal to 0. For the second decoder, what we have done? We have connected the line A3 to E3 and then uh, and A4 to E2 and the E1 line we have grounded. So, so this is, so E1 is always there, but if, uh, if I give uh, A4 equal to 0 and A3 equal to 1, okay. if I give A3 equal to 1 and A4 equal to 0, then this decoder will get selected. So, this enable will be active and all the other enables will be deactive. So, as a result all other outputs will be uh, high, but depending upon the value of A0, A1, A2, one of the outputs from this set will be low. So, you see that I do not need any extra, uh, uh, I do not need any extra gate, only thing is that we can just apply this E3, E1, E2 properly. Okay. Yeah, so, E3, E3, E2, E1 properly, so that uh, these decoders will be, uh, this uh, 4 to 8 decoders, they can be used to construct 5 to 32 decoders. So, that is why we have got this multiple number of enable lines. A simpler example, how to construct a 4 line to 16 line decoder using 2, 3 line to 8 line decoders. So, we have got 2, 3 to 8 decoders and we use them to get a 4 to 16 line decoder. So, we assume that each of these decoders, they have got one enable line and for the decoder to operate, this enable line should be equal to uh, 1. Okay. So, this x, y, z, so these are the 3 inputs coming. Now, and there is another input w. So, w is the most significant bit and so and x is the least significant bit. So, this x, y, z line, so they are fed to both the decoders and this w lines is line is fed to the enable of the lower decoder and this inverted w is fed to this upper decoder. So, this upper decoder is so is enabled when w equal to 0 and when w equal to 1, the lower decoder will be enabled. So, uh, this uh, I can say that for D0 to D7, so the, the, uh, the for 4 bit patterns that we have are for say for uh, say D5. In 4 bit, so it is coded as 0, 1, 0, 1. So, this x, y, z and w, so this is x, this is y, this is z and this is w. Okay. So, this w is equal to 0, that means the lower decoder is disabled only the upper decoder is enabled and the upper decoder in the line x, y, z is getting 1, 0, 1. As a result, the D5 output will be made high and all other outputs will be made low. And since this lower decoder is disabled by making E equal to 0, okay, so all the outputs will be low. So, ultimately if you look into this entire set of 16 outputs D0 to D15, only the D5 output will be high and all other outputs will be low. So, in this way you can use uh, uh, 3 to 8 decoders to uh, make 4 to 16 decoder or even higher like we have previously we have said we have seen that 3 to 8 decoder used for getting 5 to 32 decoder. So, that way also can be done. Next we will be uh, looking into uh, how can I get 4 line. So, this is the description of that 4 to 16 line decoder. So, when w equal to 0 top decoder is enabled and the other is disabled and the bottom decoder outputs are all zeros because the E B the enable input is 0 and the top uh, and top 8 outputs generate mean terms 0, 0, 0, 0 to 0, 1, 1, 1. So, that is uh, corresponding to those mean terms the output so the 8 outputs will be there. And when w equal to 1, the enable conditions are reversed that is the upper decoder is now disabled and the bottom decoder is now enabled. So, it will realize the functions one mean terms 1 0 0 0 to 1 1 1 1 and upper decoder will be outputting all zeros. Now, these decoders they can be used for realizing combinational functions directly. For example, suppose 
uh, we look into that adder function ok. So, in case of adder you know that the sum is given by sigma 1 2 4 7. So, this x y z so it is a uh, full adder. So, so if I have got uh, full adder so this is the truth table. So, x y and z and sum and carry. So, this is uh, so 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 and 1 1 1. So, when this uh, so this is coming this is 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 and sorry sorry so this is 0 1 and this is 1 1. Now, for sum is 1 for this combination, this combination that is 1, 2, 4 and 7. For these cases sum is equal to 1 and the carry is equal to 1 for 3, 5, 6 and 7. So, this is this is that 3, then 5, 6 and 7. For these cases carry is equal to 1. So, this is the mean term based representation. So, if you are trying to realize some circuit using decoder, so first we have to come to the mean term representation of the function where it lists down the mean terms corresponding to the function. Now, so now we use a decoder. So, this is a 3 to 8 decoder. So, this x, y, z, so they are connected to the input side. Now, output sum will be equal to 1 if the combination 1, 2, 4 or 7 are chosen such th that is if this x, y, z value is such that this output 1, 3, 4 or 7. So, the so any of them will be equal to 1. In that case, sum output will be equal to 1. And we have got this carry output. So, this will be equal to 1 if this 3, 5, 6 and 7 any of these outputs are 1. So, this 3, 5, 6 and 7. So, they are outputs are 1. So, from the mean term, so we can figure out the lines that are that are important for the function and we or them ok to get the corresponding function. So, this way we can realize uh, any combinational function by means of decoders. So, the point is that you have to convert it into uh, mean term representation and from the mean term representation so you have to go. It is not from the Carnot map, it is from the mean term representation of the function. So, next we will be looking into encoders. So, encoders are just the reverse of decoder. So, in case of encoder decoder from uh, less number of lines. So, we are going to more number of lines for the encoder we will do just the reverse. We will start with the more number of lines and from there we will come to less number of lines. So, that is also useful in many cases particularly when we are trying to reduce the uh, amount of information that we need to send from one place to another ok. So, number of bits uh, used for transmission and all. So, we use encoders so that we can uh, send more amount of information using lesser number of bits. We will see that in successive class.